half lost in tangles of old alleys near the keys, reeking of strange things brought in from the seas, and with queer curls of fog that west winds tossed, small lozenge panes obscured by smoke and frost just showed the books in piles like twisted trees rotting from floor to roof, conjuries of crumbling elder lore at little cost. I entered, charmed from a cobweb heap, took up the nearest tome and thumbed it through, trembling in curious words that seemed to keep some secret, monstrous, if I only knew. Then, looking for some cellar old in craft, I could find nothing but a voice that laughed. I held the book beneath my coat at pains to hide the thing from sight in such a place hurrying through the ancient harbor lanes with often turning head and nervous pace. Dull, furtive windows and old tottering brick peered at me oddly as I hastened by. And thinking what they sheltered, I grew sick for a redeeming glimpse of clean blue sky. No one had seen me take the thing, but still, a blank laugh echoed in my whirling head, and I could guess what nighted words of ill lurked in the volume I had coveted. The way grew strange, the walls alike and maddening, and far behind me, unseen feet or padding. I do not know what windings in the waste of those strange ceilings brought me home once more, but on my porch I trembled, white with haste, to get inside and bolt the heavy door. I had the book that told me away across the void and through the space home screens that hold the undimensioned worlds at bay and keep lost eons to their own defenses. At last the key was mine to those vague visions of sunset spires and twilight woods that brood deep in the gulfs beyond this earth's procession, lurking as memories of infinitude. The key was mine, but I sat there only. The attic window shook with a faint fumbling. The day had come again when as a child I saw just once that hollow of old oaks, gray with a ground mist that enfolds and chokes the slinking shapes which madness has defiled. It was the same. An herbage rank and wild clings round an altar whose carved sign invokes that nameless one to whom a thousand smokes rose eons ago from unclean clean towers uppiled. I saw the body spread on that dank stone and knew those things which feasted were not men, but the strange gray world was not my own but Yugoth, past the starry voids, and then the body shrieked at me with a dead cry, and all too late I knew that it was I. There is, in certain ancient things, a trace of some dim essence more than form or weight, a tenuous ether indeterminate, yet linked with all the laws of time and space of faint, veiled sign of continuities that outward eyes could not quite decree, of locked dimensions harboring years gone by, and out of reach except for hidden keys. It moves me most when slanting sunbeams glow on old farm buildings set against a hill, and paint with life, life the shapes which linger still from centuries less a dream than this we know. In that strange light I feel I am not far from that fixed mass whose sides the ages are. Thank you.